Real Men Sing started out as a, a men's chorus was looking for a way to do some outreach to try and get new members into the chorus. And I just felt that maybe we should start with the young people. So we were trying to figure out how to do that, so I came up with the idea of, well, let's have a workshop for young men. And I brought that idea up in a board meeting, and I remember the look that Stan Carlson gave me. It was the dirtiest look. It's like, do you realize how much work that will be? But the board bought into the idea, and the chorus bought into the idea, and that's how Real Men Sing got started. It was just a simple idea on how to reach out to other people in the community. Johnny Smoker, Johnny Smoker, can you sing? I can play, I can play on my triangle. Ding, 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 this is my triangle. Do, 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 this is my flute. Do, 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 this is my drum. I do, 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 this is my triangle. Once we decided that we were going to have the Real Men Sing Festival. Of course it takes a lot of work and there was a lot of grant writing and legwork to do and I know that I spent a crazy number of hours working with uh, other people in the chorus. Don Hoffman and I would email each other at 2 a.m. in the morning just trying to brainstorm to how, how are we going to do this, how are we going to put this idea together, how are we going to raise money and so, with the grant writing and the legwork that we did, it all came together. I worked at getting the schools to come to the Real Men Sing, and the directors bought into it. And here we are today, we've got over 300 men on the risers, and this is our 10th Real Men Sing. Sing was to try to get young men from the small schools in our surrounding area that don't have the opportunity to sing in a, in a, in a school that has the programs that the larger cities do. And so um, it's helped that we've been able to pull those small schools in, but it's grown. It's, and even the schools that haven't bought into the idea initially, now we're seeing in our, in our later years, we're seeing more of those schools coming and they're hearing about it, and we're getting schools that from, are from 100 miles away and even farther, but yet they're small schools that believe in the fact that real men sing and they want to teach their young men that that's a true statement. Sing is one of the rare festivals that gives everybody the opportunity to come together for a day of uh, singing, sharing the love of music, and also in this particular case to have uh, singers of all ages uh, come together and uh, share their enthusiasm and uh, love for singing. It's a great time, a social time as well as an opportunity to dig a little bit more into the music and give everybody the opportunity to spend more time than what we usually possibly might have to explore what all um, can be expressed through music.
think real men sing is important. Uh, it's important uh, for us as older singers to, uh, to let younger singers know that they have a lifetime of singing awaiting them. A lifetime of, uh, of experiences with other men singing beautiful music and enjoying each other's fellowship. experience. Young men from maybe 14 years old to old guys who are maybe even in their 80s all coming together to sing and enjoy each other's company. That's real men sing. It's an exciting day. Thank you, Steve, for inviting me, um, and thank you all for uh, sharing your wonderful talents and your love for music with us this day. And thank you for coming and giving us the opportunity to share this enjoyment of music with all of you. You, if you have not seen this concert, you are so wrong. <laughs>